It's like, you know, being divorced with two kids, it's not exactly easy to find anyone, you know. I'm not the old bloody superstar I used to be. Yes, you know. <clears throat> I mean, I wasn't struggling with the chicks, but, uh, yeah, you could say it's a drought, I mean, sort of. My friends recommend it happen, and, um, that's where I met Daryl. Yeah, the boys, uh, at yeah, the work so bloody lagging on about as I'll happen at. So, mate, it's not for me, you don't need bloody plucking up chicks through that crap. Gave in, ended up getting it. Turns out it's, uh, it's not too bad. So I, that's when I saw Shaz's profile. So it turned out we had a uh, bit in common. Both like our steaks, well done. Only way to have it, be charcoal. Uh, he had the same shoe size as my father. Yeah, my mum said if you find a man, same shoe size as your father, don't let go of him. Oh, I don't know what that means. But she's she's a very wise lady. Oh no, mate, I don't want to get into the fucking you know, cheesy details of it, but uh Yeah, we really hit it off. Took her out for a real nice pub meal. Back to my house. Yeah, she loved the Falco, of course. Very, very much a gentleman, polite man. We on first date, he paid for the first two drinks. Well, I got dinner in a cab because uh, he hadn't got his Medicare rebate back. That's okay. When I got home, it was uh, quite a pleasant surprise. He uh, drove the Ford Falcon, my favourite car. Might have had my first shag in one, my told mate one. <laughs> got a, you know, one, one of them key rings and a gumball machine, gave it to her. She's stoked. On the way home, pick up uh, some ice cream. You know, we ate that now the lookout, it was pretty, you know, uh, shit you do with chicks, fucking, I don't know. It's cliche as it seems. I believe Daryl's my soul, mate. And, uh, I just can't imagine life without him. Uh, it sounds a bit gay and shit, and it wouldn't say it for other boys, but... She, she has is the love of my life, and... I don't know what I'd do, you know, without her.